Hi, welcome to Pausing for Prayer. It's Pastor Lori here. I'm pastor at the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. Glad you decide to take a moment and pause for prayer with me. I've collected your prayer requests, but if you have any more or want one added to the list, make sure you put it in the comments or you can email me at Pastor Lori A. Mitchell at gmail.com. So let me shut up and get started with the devotion. It is, He Knows Your Name. The scripture is from Isaiah 43. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. After breaking with our longtime church, my husband and I reunited with the fellowship after three long years. But how would people treat us? Would they welcome us back, love us, forgive us for leaving? We got our answers on a sunny Sunday morning. As we walked through the big church doors, we kept hearing our names. Pat, Dan, it's so great to see you. As children's author Kate DeMillo wrote in one of her popular books, Reader, nothing is sweeter in this sad world than the sound of someone you love calling your name. The same assurance was true for the people of Israel. We had chosen a different church for a time, but they returned their backs on God. Yet God welcomed them back. He sent the prophet Isaiah to assure them, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. And in this world where we can feel unseen, unappreciated, ever feel like that? <laughs> Even unknown, maybe. Be assured that God knows each of us by name. You are precious and honor my sight, God promises in verse 4. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. Sometimes it feels like the water's right about here, though, doesn't it? But God is with us. You never forget that. It may seem a little dark and you might not be able to see God. That's when you reach out to your brothers and sisters in Christ. And they remind you that you're going to make it through. And just hold on to them and their faith until you do make it through. Because God is faithful, and God is with you. It says, the promise wasn't just for Israel. Jesus ransomed his life for us. He died for us. He knows our names. Why? In love, we are his. And why does God welcome his people back to him? How has he shown that he knows you by name? Well, I've screwed up many a time, so I know the answer to that question. Uh, in the May of prayer request... We have ongoing concerns, those that have the virus and are recovering, those with cancer, Nick, Sherry Fisher-Riley, Janice, Jennifer, JC, Charlie, Steinauer, and Mike. For unspoken requests, we also lift up. Also those from both churches, first the Fairton Church, Mr. J, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope Edwards, Bill Hall, and Connie. Those from the Newport Church, Dominic Caldwell, Pastor Frazier, who fell this week. So definitely be in prayer for him. Louise, Ed, Dennis, Ruth, Jimmy Knipe, Chase, Nancy, Jillian Taylor, Cheryl Ripper, and Lawrence Morgan. Moved up both churches. Josh Wolf, who's serving in the Navy. Heather, she had a baby this week. And I forgot all the details to share with you, but I will have them tomorrow, I hope. If not, I'm sure somebody will. She did have a healthy baby in their home. Dina for a uh, bulging disc in her back. Craig and Jen for encouragement and peace. Roberta, healing for family. Rob Hill for healing. Mary Kay's daughter for a job. Sandy for healing for carpal tunnel. Edith Finch for healing. For Gail, who had a knee replacement. And there's another knee replacement. Debbie must be a sale. Gail and Debbie had knee replacements. Juanita for comfort. She suffers from anxiety. Morel Wolf, Josh's grandfather, had surgery recently. Elsie Donahue had pacemaker surgery last week. Um, at the Newport Church, we mentioned the Smith, Taylor, and Bedford families. I think that was, no, actually, I think that was at Fairton. Um, Betty who is still mourning for her and her family. Lori White for God's touch. 
Lori asked for prayers for country and family. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you are a God that listens to us, that you do always welcome us back, and you want to hear us talk to you. I thank you that people have entrusted me and us with these concerns, so we lift them up to you. We want to remember those that have the virus and are recovering, especially the long haulers that are dealing with ongoing um, things from COVID. We want to lift up those with cancer, Nick, Sherry, Fisher, Riley, Janice, Jennifer, JC, Charlie, and Mike. Lord, I pray that you would heal their bodies and be with them. I also lift up unspoken requests. Um, there are many people that have shared things with me that they didn't co feel comfortable sharing with everyone. And then I'm sure there's someone that's watching this just uh, happen upon it, maybe on YouTube or Facebook, that are, wanted to join in prayer. And so I, I lift those concerns up to you as well. I also lift up those from the Fairton Church, Mr. J, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope Edwards, Bill Hall, and Connie. From the Newport Church, Dominic Caldwell, Pastor Frazier, who fell this week, comfort him, heal him. For Louise, who has surgery coming up, Ed, Dennis, Ruth, Jimmy, Chase, Nancy, Jillian Taylor, Cheryl Ripper, and Lawrence Morgan. Lord, I ask for healing for those that need your healing and your comfort for those that are so dear to us, that you would, uh, they would feel your presence. For both churches, Lord, I ask you would uh, give us your wisdom. Uh, for Josh Wolf, keep him safe, Lord. For Heather, I pray that this baby continues to grow and be healthy and that she would heal from the C-section. Also lift up Dina, who has health, uh, back issues, that you would bring healing to her. For Craig and Jen, I ask for your encouragement and peace. For Roberta, I ask for healing for her family. For Rob Hill and... For Sandy and Edith, I ask for healing for them. For Mary Kay's daughter, she needs a job, and hopefully that is geared toward her degree. I pray that you provide the wisdom for the nowhere to look and where to get it. For Juanita, I ask for your comfort as she suffers from anxiety. For Morel, I ask for healing for after his surgery. The same for Elsie, who had the, this heart surgery. I pray that you continue to heal her. And be with her family as they take care of her as well. For the Smith, Taylor, and Bedford family, I ask for your comfort. And also for Betty, who's mourning, I ask for your comfort for her and her family. Uh, for those that went through knee replacement, for Gail and Debbie, I ask for your healing. This is a hard surgery to get through, and it's painful, so I ask for your, their pain to be managed well. Um, for Lori, I ask for your encouragement for her family, and, and I... I thank you for the prayers that she asked for this nation. I ask you would give our leadership wisdom. I also lift up Lori White, who needs God's touch, and Mr. and Mrs. Holiday, that you would uh, provide with any need they have. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for pausing for prayer with me. I'll see you guys again soon. Love you guys. Bye.